Samir Burma. Book the uh, second spot for India in the final. As uh, women's doubles of Ponapa and uh, Sikoredi have uh, also booked the spot. And uh, no doubt that the audience here in the uh, Babu Banarasi Das Indoor Stadium is hoping for Saina Neval, the second seed, the three time former champion to book her spot in the final as well. She's up against Rusali Hatawan of uh, Indonesia, the surprise entry in uh, these women's singles semi-finals. Here's um, the race to Guangzhou standing and everything's been decided. It's the top eight that uh, we're going to see in two weeks time in uh, Guangzhou. Michelle Lee took the last spot in uh, last week's tournament in uh, Hong Kong. Great job by uh, Canadian. And a look at uh, the women's single star, we can see that uh, the opponent for the winner of this semi final has already been found. That was uh, Han Yui, who uh, defeated uh, the former Olympic gold medalist Li Shuri in um, three games in the old Chinese uh, encounter. When I say that Rosalie Hartzman is a surprise entry, then it's because you can see she defeated the fifth seed, Jiang Yiman, of um, China in the quarterfinal. Great result for her there, but um, it's a different type of player she's up against um, here in the uh, semi final. San has won this tournament in 2009, and 2014, and 15. 2009 was the first year it was an international uh, tournament part of the uh, Grand Prix Grand Prix Gold Circuit. Um, 14 and 15 it was Grand Prix Gold Tournament and now of course um, part of the BWF HSBC World Tour as a Super 300 tournament. Here's uh, Hartzman. Centimeters of height. And, uh, born in uh, Jakarta. And here she is. And that uh, you can hear from the audience how popular she is here in uh, Lucknow. Saina Neval. The Olympic bronze medalist from 2012, the World Championship silver medalist from um, 2015 in Jakarta, and lately the uh, first Indian to win a uh, medal at the Asian Games as her match finished a little bit ahead of um, PV Sindhu, who also uh, won a medal at the Asian Games in uh, Jakarta. Twenty years of age is uh, Hartman. Um, her best results this year is uh, a semi-final at the Orléans Super Hundred. Uh, so basically, this tournament is her best result, and uh, she also had a runner-up in the uh, Finnish Open on the European circuit, where she lost to fellow countrywoman Gloria Mariska. Here's her road to um, the final, the semi-final it is. Great performance against uh, Jiang Yiman in uh, the quarters. The highest ranking was uh, all the way back in 2015 when she was uh, only 17 years of age. Currently ranked uh, 62 in the world. Here's uh, Stein on the ball. Twenty-eight years of age. Been playing so many years on the uh, world circuit. Won the World Junior Championships in uh, 2008. 
Here's her road to the final. It's been fairly easy. And that's, of course, one of the question marks, whether it's been too easy. Has she really been stretched? Um, yet, she's, of course, the favorite to uh, win the tournament. She's the one everybody's focusing their attention on. It's the one the other players want to beat. Sachu Chukuma from uh, Brunei. Ude Arial. Ready to play? Yeah, he's from India. I have in my papers that he should be from Nepal, but um, I have to tell you, I'm uh, not really sure what is correct. So Steiner Nebel got a um, World Championship bronze medal also in uh, 2017 and reached the quarters this year in um, Nanjing. Won gold at the Commonwealth Games, defeating uh, compatriot PV Sindhu. So, uh, recently she's been in the final of um, Denmark 750. And um, yeah. had the opportunity to um, see a couple of her matches there, and that looked Ladies really, really and good. Gentlemen. Um, on defeated my Akane right. Yamaguchi and Okuhara. Okuhara Indonesia. For the first time in um, and on my left, Saina Nevo, time. India. Really well. to was coached by her fiancé on that occasion. Parapali Kashap about to get married in uh, three weeks' time. On the finals, they have the, the World Tour finals actually. One, go! Here is uh, Kashap next to. See that. Good shot. Service over. One. All. I guess it's fair to say also that um, Indonesian women's singles is on its way back up. Seeing Gregoria Mariska make some um, good results recently. Excellent deception. Oh, it's gone long. Two, one. Uh, backhand side, Rosalia Hartman, and that's of course one of the things about uh, being one of the veteran players, even if you're only 28 years of age, that uh, your opponent knows your game very well.
Service over. It's just on the head Six, to head. Three. Hit. Previously, these two players. So, also for Sina, it's about getting used to uh, the oppositions he's facing. Shuttle in her backhand Service side, which she's put pressure on. Sinus um, long forehand is uh, hard to win. Chat got into real good rhythm Three. there before that smash. Four. You could see it. It's like one, two up in the air, smash down the line. Is the point. It's going wide. Service over. Five. Eight. Good deception. Service over. Nine. Five. Also wreck it. Very high early before hitting overhead shots is um, hard to win. create some uh, deception, but it must also be possible to exploit it that she needs some extra time. Excellent. Service over. Six, nine. to the previous match between Samir Verma and Chico Wadorio where um, when Verma really got his game going he started playing a lot to the front court and uh, Wadorio wasn't really able to cope with that I think it could be the case here as well yeah good deception Ooh. service over 10 7 Excellent disguised cross Eleven, drop from uh, Rosalie Hartzman, and uh, she's off to a good start, leading 11 7 here as we go to the McGim interval. Service 
the audience and hope for here in uh, look now yeah. playing side to side whenever she can Rosalie Hartman and that one's gone wide on the right sideline trying to move Sana Nibal from side to side all the time Faster than Sina at the moment. He's got to apply more pressure. The former champion here. <laughs> that was a really difficult shot, that one from uh, Rosalia Hartman, because the shuttle was tumbling upside down from the contact with uh, the net. Excellent play by Sana Nival. And uh, I would expect her to be aware now that uh, she's been played side to side. So uh, she won't be able to exploit it unless um, Rosalie Hartman puts some uh, variation into her game. again very very efficient she's staying true to her game plan is uh, Rosely Hatman there's the spot the defensive forehands for her to uh, leave the uh, back court open and uh, move early to that one, I think Sina Nival should uh, put more pressure on that. But uh, first game seems to be slipping away from the Indian favourite. Variation. Very nice 
reverse uh, drop shot there from Hotton. Ooh, she read that wrong. Deceptive clear. Took the net call and uh, went long, so otherwise, it would have been a perfect uh, miss four. from San Nival. Now it means eight game points to Rosalia Hartzman. Who would have thought that? Good little deception. Landed perfectly game. in the corner, and after just 13 Lock minutes of play, Rosalia Hartzman has taken one. the first game here in luck now against four. the home favorite San Nival. 21 12. Well, this is um, this is going to be a hard day at the office for um, San Anibal if she wants to uh, win another title here in uh, here in Lucknow. Because it's not so much that Hartman won the first game, it's the manner in which she won it oh. that was impressive. Can she continue that? Keep the mistakes down and uh, what is um, what Nadal got in the back for the second game here? Last place clears. Not leaving time for Hartman. Oh, nice deception. Really, really uh, a skillful player on the front court. Is Hartman. No panic at all. But a little deception, and, and the deceptions they are really, really biting hard on. Um, Sainanival at the moment, so um, she's got to realize that this is going to be tough. It's going to be just as tough as beating Yamaguchi or uh, Okuhara. And she's got to put pressure on uh, Hartzman so she can't make all her small deceptions. Yeah, that's good as well. If she can play cross back at um, the Indonesian. But if you're trailing, it's really hard to get it back across.
view from the Indonesian coach. to get um, Four, under that um, shot there, Hartzman, and it's definitely more efficient if uh, San Nival can play cross back, but below the tape. So she takes away opportunities from uh, Hartzman. Ready for it. Sign up. Clever service by San Nival. Turned it into a service ace. And there was the cross back. Save that one. So far, from an Indian perspective, a very positive start to the second game. Not only has uh, San Nival here stopped the momentum of uh, Rosalie Hartzman, she's also got the momentum on her own side, and uh, that's the, in fact, more that you could. Uh, Count on, could dream on it, but um, uh, would have to be satisfied by going neck to neck and then uh, stealing the second game. Here, the sign of five points ahead. Pull long. Challenge from uh, Nival. Challenges. Out. I think it's worth the challenge as well. Let's see what Hawkeye says. Uh, just caught the line. And that means that uh, we have the mid-game interval. Eleven five for San Nival here at the second game, mid-game interval.
So interesting to see whether Hartzorn has um, a plan A2. His um, first the game plan has been uh, more or less neutralized by Sainan Neval. Someone to show that uh, she's not afraid of playing the long rallies. Oh, she took that one, so I know that was going wide. Good clears from uh, Hartzman. Oh, she read that deception, Sainan Nival, and played a perfect net shot, tumbling net shot. And I have a feeling that the uh, pace here in the uh, second game is going to uh, take its toll on uh, Rusali Hatawan. It's going long. well and uh, mistakes are creeping in here for Hartzman. Second game is uh, in my opinion gone for her. Yeah, that's well placed. If you can threaten down the line like that well she might be able to win it. But that's a tough task. Yeah. It just looked like she was going for a knockout there, Sainan Nival. Even though it was in uh, safe distance from uh, her opponent, the shot that she killed. Could have been one of the things that uh, Kashap has. Uh, told Simon Nival in the intervals just look where she's headed where she's aiming you don't have to start early you can easily um, reach it or maybe he's said you can reach it A total change of events here Excellent placement, and uh, Sainan Nival takes the second game in convincing fashion. After losing the first, she takes the second game 21 7, and we're heading to a decider after the two minute interval.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. So, third and uh, <clears throat> decisive game is coming up here. Sam Nadal got more or less outplayed in the first game, and then uh, Rusalia Hartman got outplayed in the second game. Who is going to take uh, this semi final and book a spot in the final against Han Yue of China? The audience knows who they're rooting for. Excellent play. Excellent pace on the clears from uh, Sana Nadal. Doesn't leave enough time for hard someone to get too much deception on it uh, hesitation on the, uh, the back line there Um, from this side, Sarah so Naval, I don't know if she feels there's a slight drift uh, coming from her towards her opponent. It's also Mirboma make some um, calls on the back line that was wrong on the far side of the court, so I don't think there's too much drift in this uh, arena here. to go for uh, Hartmann. That's the problem if you uh, read the game plan. If you're a little bit ahead of your opponent. Good job. There's those little deceptions. Wasn't time for it there. Accurate net shot, a little bit lucky. Excellent play by uh, Sana Nival. Now she's displaying some of the badminton that has gotten her three titles here in uh, Lucknow.
the one who started the um, Indian badminton boom. I think it's wrong to call it that. Um, that strong players like um, Prakash Padukona and of course um, Gopi Chand. Gopi Chand started uh, coaching Sanya Nival. Everything took off. Good results, inspiring others. Excellent play. Too tight for San and Nival. Had her Olympic campaign 2016 spoiled by a knee injury, and um, this is uh, only in this 2018 season that she's uh, been on the road back to her normal self. It takes so long time to get over injuries. sideline and all on the back line that they showed the, the opposite way anyway San Nival won the point and then now has an 11-3 lead here as we head to the last mid game interval of this match The court, the court, um, thoroughly mopped. She's ready to uh, continue the match. Eight point advantage here. As, uh, seven, seven. Going her way. Also, the harder one. Oh. 
basically been uh, one-way traffic since uh, the interval between the first two games. She's also totally drifted away from that side-to-side -side, um, plan, Rosalie Hartzell, she didn't need to drift totally away from it, she just needed to vary it better than she'd done. Excellent play. It's turned into an exhibition match now. Play on court now. Simon and Al in uh, total dominance here in the second and uh, the third game. Magnificent display. Is headed. Well uh, done by Hartzman. She played so well in the first game, did uh, Rosselli Hartzman, but uh, it was a little bit uh, too one-dimensional. But I think uh, it's fair to say that San Laval was in uh, some real problems there, and uh, that shows the uh, value of sometimes having good coaches by your side. Now, 
15 match point opportunities and uh, the audience is uh, satisfied Simon Naval is about to book a spot in tomorrow's final against uh, Han Yue it's on the line I actually think that this um, three game match can be a little bit helpful in terms of uh, reminding her that um, she cannot start out uh, at a too low percentage of uh, her max. There it is. After 46 minutes of play, the three-time former champion here in uh, Lucknow, the second seed, Saina Nebal, books her spot in tomorrow's final. She does it uh, with convincing play in the uh, second and the third game. Rosalie Hartzman did so well in uh, the first where she uh, more or less outplayed Saina Nebal, but uh, the tides were turned in uh, the second and the third game. Saina Nebal was uh, merciless, 21-7, 21 six in just 46 minutes.